Welcome to This is Arlington, Arlington High School student produced television show. I'm Luke McBride. And I'm Bree McCord. On each episode of This is Arlington, we look at stories happening in our school and community. Let's take a look at our top stories. Just last month, a Whataburger location opened in Arlington. This is the food chain's fifth expansion in the Memphis area. Whataburger is excited to be a part of the Arlington business community, and they have made that known by making an appearance at the AHS Lady Tiger volleyball game last month versus Cordova. At this appearance, they passed out Whataburger merch and free food coupons. Whataburger is located on the corner of Mel Wilson and Airline. Go support a new business to our community and eat at Whataburger. Country star Zach Bryan was arrested on Thursday, September 7th on a charge of obstruction of a law enforcement officer. Bryan was arrested in Veneta, more than 60 miles northeast of Tulsa. He admitted to driving a few miles over the speed limit to the police officer who pulled him over. Bryan spent several hours in jail. However, Bryan was released that same day. The singer apologized on social media by releasing a video discussing his behavior and apologizes to law enforcement. Bryan hopes to pick up and continue his success with his new album and tour. This past month, the New York Jets took on the Buffalo Bills in their season and home opener. The game was highly anticipated because of the Jets' new signing, star quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Just four snaps into his debut, tragedy struck. While being sacked, Rodgers fell awkwardly twisting his leg. The result of this was a torn Achilles. Unfortunately, with, many, with Rodgers' age, many professionals in the sport think it will be very difficult for him to make a full recovery. We are sad to hear this and wish Rogers the best. After many awaited months, the new Arlington Kroger is finally breaking ground on the $22 million store. The Kroger lot sat empty all through COVID, but will now be put to use. The seven year wait to start this project is finally over. This new Kroger is just a fraction of all of the brand new businesses and chains in the ever growing Arlington area. The new store will be around 2.5 times larger than the original Arlington Kroger. Residents are looking forward to a new, more spacious place to indulge in their shopping needs. There's a lot of exciting things happening this year for the seniors. Here's Tiger Life reporter Reese Eichner with a closer look into one of those events just for seniors. Entering the year strong, the class of 2024 had their senior sunrise August 25th. Here's more about that. Senior Sunrise is a charity event sponsored by National Honor Society. August 25th, 2023 was the third annual Senior Sunrise hosted by Arlington High School. Senior Sunset will be hosted at the end of the year by National Honor Society, in case you missed Senior Sunrise. This is Reese Eichner reporting for This is Arlington alongside Trevor Jones. So two years ago, our NHS president wanted to uh, have an event for the school that NHS sponsored and she'd seen some other schools that had done Senior Sunrises, and so we planned it, and now it's an annual event. So Senior Sunrise benefits St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Um, the $5 that you pay for the ticket covers the Chick-fil-A biscuit that you get, but then the remainder of it gets donated to St. Jude. My favorite thing about the Senior Sunrise is seeing all the really pretty pictures that everyone takes and seeing all the seniors get together on the football field, and then at the end of the year, getting to see the Senior Sunset, so it's kind of, sunrising the year and sunsetting the year. I just think Senior Sunrise is a really fun event that's kind of become a tradition um, for seniors all around America. And I think that I really just wanted to make sure that it went well for the people at Arlington High School. I really just liked hanging out with my friends and you know, watching the sunrise. I got there really early, so I really just got to see the entirety of it, and it was really pretty. I'd have to say it was hanging out with my friends and being able to talk to some people I haven't talked to in a while. I figure it's my senior year, I mean, why not do some stuff? I thought it would be really fun and a way to just spend time with all of my senior friends as we start like our last year. I really like just being around all of the people, seeing everybody that I'm going to be graduating with this year. It was just really nice. I really enjoyed it. It was definitely hot, but I liked being able to like dress up and just be all cute and match outfits with my friends. Oh yes, absolutely. I think it's a really good start to the year. I definitely would. It's just a really nice experience being around your friends and also you get free breakfast. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, you want to hang out with your friends and it's your senior year, you want to make memories. So I'd say, yeah, go for it. A local business that has previously been taken over by a new manager has made a tremendous impact on customers and is receiving great feedback. Here's Tiger Life reporter Lucas Black for a closer look into the Nutrition Spot Lakeland. Here in Arlington, business is growing, and we're here with Arlington's very own Nutrition Spot. 
Before I owned the nutrition spot, it was called Nutrition Lounge, and it was not really running very well. It was, um, it had very few choices on the menu and very few customers us that had the store before us sold it simply because he was not doing well and was going to leave town. Miss Shonda never actually purchased the store. The previous owner left because of unsuccessful times. The store was just not doing well and he was going to leave town so she decided to rent out the space and completely start over with the store. Doing this has made such a huge difference in the community and have lived less her own life. Uh, nutrition spots changed our life a lot. It's a fun place for my family to come, my boys with their, with their friends. Um, I've been able to mentor quite a few college and high school girls. Um, it's a job that I can have where I can leave town when I need to so I can be with my family. In the past, the nutrition spot has had its struggles. But with the new owner, it has overcome those struggles and is now a thriving business. The concept of a nutrition store was awesome. I was at a time in my life where I could handle it and I thought it would be fun to work with the teenagers. Working here, absolutely. It's, it, this is a successful business in that it works. Markham Williams is no stranger to roadblocks. Last season, like the last game of the year, I tore my labrum against Carville. And it was really hard for me over the off season trying to, you know, like work, work out and stuff like that, keep my size up and tried to reclass, but it didn't work out. And I just ended up coming back to my original grade. Markham is a senior here at AHS and ever since third grade, his passion has been football. He says scoring touchdowns is what made him fall in love with the game. Just having that feeling, everyone like coming around you, you know, cheering for and stuff like that. Markham certainly has a lot of support, but his mom is his number one. She really loves football, and I like to make her proud about, like, you know, being good. Not only does Markham excel in football, he also worked to skip a grade through a summer school program. He said the most challenging part was the independence he wasn't used to. Not having anyone, like, behind me in my ear just tell me, do your work, do your work, because if I, no one does that, I, I procrastinate really bad. Although it was difficult, Markham persevered and is now able to go through his senior year with some of his best friends. He's a great friend. He's one of my best friends, uh, uh, you know, so I mean, I feel like it correlates to some on-field chemistry. Despite all the setbacks Markham has faced, he still maintains a positive attitude towards his goals and future. He says his biggest goal is to just have a better season and a better team. You know, I just have to keep in mind that I got to be a leader for the team and keep playing through it. His teammates commented on him as a player and had nothing but good words for him. Uh, Markham's a great teammate. I mean, he not only cares about himself, but, you know, he cares about, you know, other positions and uh, comes up with, like, the best ways and things we can do to come out with a win. Uh, Markham's a leader. He's uh, someone I look up to because he leads our team every single day and he tells us, you know, how to get through. Reporting for HS Tiger Life, this is Aaron Benjamin. I would say Markham's definitely been having one of the best uh, seasons of his career so far. Yeah, he's an incredible athlete. I remember the very first uh, game of the season, Markham had that scoop and score touchdown, and it was just really great. The student section went crazy, and it was just great to be a part of. I remember that. I was cheering on the sidelines, and the whole cheer team went crazy for him. I just hope he has a good rest of the season to help the Tigers pull out some more wins. That's all we have today on This is Arlington. Be sure to tune in next time for more stories from Arlington High School and the community. While you're here, turn on post notifications to see when This is Arlington comes out with another episode. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.